Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this time of love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message in this reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? So let's get into the reading. Mm. Okay, so you got the star card and the six of pentacles. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this time of sub reading? As always, guys, take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. If it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video. And subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as a member of our soul tribe. Okay? All right. All right. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, 10 10, hmm. the Six of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Death card. Princess of Wands, the Moon card, the Devil, and the Four of Swords. Okay, overall energy is the King of Swords. Okay, being discerning. Okay, overall energy, Virgo. Analytical and discerning. Also, too, I feel like Spirit is telling you to lean into your intuition as well. Lean into your analytical abilities your discerning abilities and your intuition as well even though this is the king of swords okay a lot of y'all did not um trust your intuition didn't analyze people in the past and you paid for it because somebody betrayed you ten of swords i feel like you didn't realize that was setting you up for your next cycle but oftentimes the lessons that we go through in life we don't realize how it's setting us up for our abundance later. Even though it may hurt, it's setting you up for something very beautiful on the other side of that with the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Ten, ten. You might have been seeing ten, ten on the clock. Okay? You're moving forward out of the cycle of hurt and trauma into the cycle of abundance, prosperity. Okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are not sure. You're holding on to the past and you're like, but this happened, but that happened. It was supposed to happen. Things were supposed to happen and unfold the way they did in previous relationships. Whether they be romantic, platonic, or even with your family. Some of that stuff was karmic. Okay? It was leading you to the transformation. It was leading you to who and what is for you. Okay? With the death card. The end of a cycle of old things that no longer serve you leaving and falling away from your life with the death card there as the princess of roses the princess of wands i feel like y'all are now ready to start over again you're ready to explore even though you might be scared uh but that's where your intuition has to come in and that discerning energy of the king of swords has to come in okay you have to know who and what is for you discern that you lean into your intuition and to your wisdom, the things and to the past lessons that you learned to help you move forward with that Piscean energy with the moon. Some of y'all are scared. Okay. Some of y'all might be scared of a particular person that's coming your way that makes you feel passion, that makes you feel open, adventurous, and like you've never felt before. They could be a Capricorn or have a Capricorn placement. But I feel like for well, a great deal of y'all, y'all just going to have to let that go and move forward and explore and see where things take you with this relationship that's coming towards you. A lot of y'all going to meditate on this person in this relationship because you're like, what? Like this person is like very, um, you might be very logical and analytical and they might be very passionate and they like to crack jokes and they might be someone who's very adventurous and you're like, no, thank you. So Virgo placements, here would be what I say. You're going to have to learn to let the reins loose a little bit and open up. Don't be so fearful and so scared in this new relationship that you're coming into. 
that could be a metaphor for life in general with Virgo placements. Y'all know I'm a Virgo, double Virgo, Virgo sun, Virgo moon. Yeah, so being very, you know, stiff neck and analytical with this new person, you're going to have to open up a little bit. You're going to have to first let them win you, be discerning, okay? And then once you get to know them, then you open up to them and see where this adventure, this relationship can take you. But they're very private and you're very private. So that's nothing to worry about or fear about. But I feel like this person is going to be like, whoa, who is this and why are they here? That's how you're going <laughs> to Okay, that's how you're going to feel. Let's see. Spirit, what additional? Okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So, four swords, go within. Some of y'all might be uh, questioning if you should deal with a particular person. Spirit saying, you already know. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So, don't let someone talk you into doing something that you're uncomfortable with. I don't know what that's about, but hey. With that uh, devil energy there, mm, okay then. It could just be you dealing with a freaky Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Don't settle. Don't settle for something that you know you don't want to do or someone that you don't want to be with just because that's what other people say you should do. Mm -mm, that ain't how that go. And if they coming towards a, a Virgo with that mentality, you they should know they they gonna get their feelings hurt real bad. I'm just saying they're discerning Virgos, okay? So, wow, that was quick. So that's all I have for my Virgo sub, moon, rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.